Hi all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be visiting Myla Hall in Birmingham. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. So we got here about 7.30, maybe 8 p.m. on a Saturday evening and it was really busy, which is a good sign. We had to wait about 45 minutes for our table because we had a group of nine people. As you can see from the video, the decor is really nice. It's really bright and welcoming. And um, yeah, the atmosphere in here is really busy. There's a lot of people in here. So we've just ordered our food and drinks. And the service in here is quite decent. Um, they've brought our drinks out fairly quickly. So on the screen here, you can see the Passion Tastic Mocktail, which was really nice. That contains mango, passion fruit, mint, and lime. And we've also ordered some juice, mango, lussi, and soft drinks. And the mango lussi was again, really nice. Here we can see the Virgin Mojito, which again was really nice. And this contains lemon, lime and mint. Again, it was really nice, but I think the Passion Tastic was a little better. So onto the food. Here we can see mutton seat kebabs. Um, they were really nice. Um, not amazing, but they were, they were good. And here we can see the Barbary Chart, which I think was lacking in a bit of flavor, to be fairly honest. Here we can see some chicken tikka breast. Again, that was, that was quite nice. So all in all, the food here is quite nice. It's, it's tasty. Um, it's, not, it's not amazing. Um, it hasn't got the wow factor, but it is, it is nice food and the restaurant is busy. So here we can see the chicken nuggets and fries that my son ordered and he really enjoyed those. So I hope you're enjoying the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. And if you do have any questions or comment, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And here we can see the chicken panini that my niece ordered and she enjoyed that. Here we see some fresh naan. Again, that was nice, thin and crispy and not too heavy. Here you can see the guys are cooking on an open grill, which gives it that nice smoky barbecue flavor. So as you can see, the restaurant is really busy, but what I did like was that there were sort of cubicles and you did sort of have your private space. Here we can see a variety of desserts in the counter. And here we can see the different flavors of ice cream that they have. So, time for some desserts. As you can see here, the kids have opted for bubblegum ice cream. Uh, we've got a vanilla ice cream there. And a couple of the adults have opted for the gulfy ice cream. And the flavor on the ice cream was really strong. The bubblegum ice cream was really nice. Here we can see apple crumble and vanilla custard, which again was nice. Um, and I opted for the Daddy Crunch Sundae, which is Ferrero Rocher with layers of chocolate and vanilla ice cream. So guys, time for some scores. Um, I'm going to give this place a 6.7 out of 10. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. And I'll see you in the next one.